Yellow Black, Japanese Stranglehold A. So Japanese Stranglehold A, we're grabbing their arm that's around our neck. We step out with the right, left elbow. Japanese Stranglehold B. We step out with the right, left hammer fist. Japanese Stranglehold C. Step out with the right, elbow hammer fist. Japanese Stranglehold D. Step out with the right, elbow, hammer fist, elbow up. Headlock A. Headlock A, we step up with the right into a horse stance. We go double hammer fist, left hand grabs, right hand palms. Headlock B. We go down with the left, we go back and down with the left leg, and we go left rich hand. Headlock C. We step up with the left, we go left palm, right ridge hand. Horse stance, five star blocking, go. Kicks for yellow white, yellow and yellow black. Snap kick. All right, so for the snap kick, right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a left foot forward fighting stance because that's how we're gonna be able to use our right leg here. For a snap kick, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the right leg up, extend out, bring it back, and come back down. Now for the left side, we put the right foot forward. Now it's the same idea here. So we bring the left leg up now, extend out, bring it back, and come back down. Side kick. So a side kick, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get into something called a fighting horse stance. So a fighting horse stance is when you're in a horse stance, right? And you kind of just turn your upper torso and you just, and, you, and you're fighting this way now, right? So for a side kick, what we're going to do is we're going to bring the right leg up and we're going to kick out this way. So that way we're kicking with the bottom middle part of our foot. We bring it back and we come down. Now the same thing goes for the left side. So now our left leg is forward and we just bring our left leg up extend out bring it back and come back down into a horse stance wheel kick so for the wheel kick what we're going to do is we're going to have our left leg forward now this is very key here okay what what's key is we just come up and we have to turn this front foot i can't stress it enough how important this front foot is because if you don't turn that front foot this whole part of your body, every other part of your body is just going to go over this right leg and then you're going to end up hurting that and then you're going to end up hurting that leg that you're supposed to be turning. So what we're going to do is we turn the left leg and we're going to come up and we're going to we're going to we're going to point our toes and we want to kick with the lower half of our shin and the upper half of our foot. So now for for the left side, right? So you guys can see it a little bit better. Right now we're going to turn the right foot, because now we're in a right foot, foot, fo right foot forward fighting stance. We bring that left leg up, and we kick here with mostly our shin, not our toes, not our toes. And remember to turn that foot before you throw that kick. Rear kick. So for a rear kick, what we're going to do is we're going to want to turn our backs to the bag. So... For the right rear kick, same thing. Now we want to be in a bit of a left foot forward fighting stance. Now, even though our back is turned, we still want to keep our hands up just in case they throw a looping punch at us, right? So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to pick up our right leg, kick back, bring it back down. The part of the foot you want to kick with is more like your heel, okay? Now, same thing for the, for the, for the left side. Now our right foot's forward, right? We look over our left shoulder, we pick it up, kick back, and come back down. 